Good morning, RimWorld. This is your friendly eye in the sky back again with some more news to help survive that nuclear hellhole out there. Your weather forecast for today is mostly sunny with only a slight chance of nuclear fallout. We've also got some scattered reports of man-eating insects out there, so make sure to bring some bug spray. In politics, our high stellarch tells us that there is absolutely no chance that he accidentally fired a planet killer weapon while on a drunken bender, and that we should all stop asking him about it. Looking at the economy, the value of silver continues to go up again for the third straight decade in a row as faith in centralized banks continues to fall. The number of super mutant attacks on colonies has gone up recently. They are now the number three cause of colony collapse after pirate raids and letting pyromaniacs join your colony. Well, that's about all the news for now. So until next time, this is your friendly eye in the sky signing off. And that's why sometimes you just gotta do what feels right in the moment even if it completely blows up in your face. Anyway, how is the old colony doing? I mean, I, I think uh, taking this place back from the bugs, it's worked out pretty well so far. A lot of garbage, uh, a lot of garbage loot though, so that's kind of unfortunate. But we'll figure out a way to make everything work. Probably a good idea to get some power going. We gotta clear all this garbage out of here. Yeah, we we need we need food. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and we'll say chop wood, but what we really mean is just. Or no, you know what? We'll, we'll just let it, let the ball go as it lies, I guess. Also, there's like a whole bunch of agave over here, so we're probably not in, like, complete hell just yet. It, we're gonna get there, I'm sure, but, uh, you know, just gotta, just gotta focus on what matters and make sure that uh, everyone's needs are met. And then probably start building some houses, because, frankly, yeah, we may be a group of uh, six military folk, but I'm sure everyone appreciates having their own bed and facilities and whatnot. So we'll probably probably work on fiddling that and getting rid of all all these uh, these above ground wires, because yeah, no one likes above ground wires. That's why I have the invisible wires mod. Or is that actually literally all it's called? I think it is. Just invisible power conduits. Makes life so much easier. What kind of life do we have out here? Lots of elephants and gazelles. Supply officer, uh, a little bit of officer from a derelict chapter, huh? Derelict chapter, Eden, sugar. I wish I could click on that and then see what, uh, what is the derelict chapter? Who are they? I figured they were the Brotherhood of Steel, but you never know. They could have been someone else. Who's our best talkie person? Let's see. That would be either Mayo or Margarita. Mayo's actually got the passion for it, so we might as well get her to continue building up her her skills. You know, it also just occurred to me, it wasn't by design, but there's exactly free men and free women. Which, for RimWorld efficiency, would be nice if each of them paired off. But, uh, you can't exactly expect that to happen. That would be too easy. And also, you know, kind of unfair on them, I suppose. I should buy more spacer ammo. Wait, I thought I had- oh no, that's explosive ammo. There's our spacer ammo. Oh good, and we can also get rid of all this garbage. Yeah, anything that is poor or unlikely Mac Revolver, yeah, it uses Spacer as well. It has- wait, 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 some of these guns have ammo in them? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, I'm gonna still sell them. Do you use Spacer ammo? No, you're industrial. So I feel... acceptable. Just, you know, ch uh, chunky boy, huh? Well, industrial ammo is a lot easier to make. So, maybe I should consider that. Did I buy some full power armor? No. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. A Brotherhood mainframe. 
da da da, retain many secrets, maybe some talented researcher could look for some useful data on its hard drive. Increases research speed when placed near high-tech research benches and gives access to the ancient knowledge of the Brotherhood of Steel. Right. Uh, though it's way above our pay grade, so we're not buying that anytime soon. And I don't think there's anything else super important that I want. Actually, you know what? I might want to... Do I need it? I, I don't think... No, you don't need advanced components in order to make... Uh, I'm going to buy more regular components because you can never have too many of those. Uh, yeah, you don't need advanced components for high-tech research benches, do you? Nope, just lots of steel. Lots of steel that I don't currently have. Probably because I'm trying to build all this stuff. Now, which one of you was the miner again? Start of a new game. It always takes a while to figure out everyone's names. Let's see here. Oh, you're actually already digging at the steel. Good for you. You knew exactly what I wanted and you got right on top of it. I also didn't check before making the scenario. Is this gear overpowered to start with? 90%. You know, I should have compared this to like a vanilla piece of equipment. Also, I'm pretty sure I've been given comments about this before. But I just want to address that uh, for Yeo's combat, yeah, you can have people hold stuff from there. Is this from Yeo's combat, or were you always able to tell colonists to hold medicine? Maybe you were, and I'm just an idiot. It's entirely possible. I mean, I am... Am I an idiot? Well, if I want to be self-deprecating. Yeah, yeah, I probably am. I'll leave it up to uh, the history books to decide if I'm, like, genuinely an idiot or not. But, uh, you know. This is really unfortunate as well, by the way. Just having... I mean, it's good for generating heat, I guess. But, uh... So how many tables do I really need in this colony? Probably a lot less than what we're seeing right here. Oh, sweet, merciful Neptune. Good God. You guys, like, is that maybe, maybe just a little over the top? Maybe just a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to allow corpses to be stored in here. I might turn this into a, a proper freezer at some point. To do just fresh animal corpses, please. All right, do old go grab that gazelle before it burns up. All right, so we're missing a water pump, but that's because we just need to build it. We'll get there. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, we'll have this place turned into a proper military bunker before you know it. Also, just in case I forgot to mention, this is a ever so slightly modified start from the vanilla factions expanded mechanoid scenario where you start as a bunch of mercenaries. I just changed it so that we were kind of, you know, in Fallout themed equipment. And, well, except for Maya, Mayo, because this uh, Elite Riot gear apparently is only designed for normal Finn and female pawns. You can't have no fat people and no hulking people. Very sad, but, you know, I guess the mod creator didn't feel that fat people or large people uh, deserved Riot gear or something. I don't know. I mean, don't really. It's not my place to complain about what someone does with their, you know, free time. I mean, if there was a commission mod and there weren't uh, parts for, you know, all body types, that would be one thing. If there was something in the vanilla game and there were no parts for all body types, that would be another thing as well. But, you know, this is something someone made in their free time, so. While maybe petitioning them to. <laughs> build fervor is one thing, of course. Uh, just uh, feeling like one is entitled to it is another, I guess, or something like that. I don't know where I'm going with that beyond just, it's unfortunate is what I'm saying. Just in case we actually get to a point where we can build more of these things. And then get rid of all these. I, I think it's mostly these lights that are eating up all my power. So if I deconstruct them all, then we should be okay. And as for this, I'm going to try to maybe move this into the middle of the room just a bit. Might make things a bit more crowded, but that's fine by me, frankly. Tony, when you're done, could you uh, start moving all the tables and chairs? I would really appreciate that. 
And I'll have to get Mayo to smash up, uh... Is that actually her real name, by the way? Well, that's her last name. Alright, so that's not just, uh, an insulting nickname because she eats too much stuff with mayonnaise in it and has gained a bit of weight. That's good. You know what? I'm actually thinking I like these guys' gear better. What is this? Combat armor, Brotherhood cape. I need to get me some of these Brotherhood capes. That is just cool. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna be a problem. We need more power. Cause this this ain't doing it. All right, yeah, two solar panels should probably be sufficient. Probably, hopefully, maybe, possibly. Yeah, and then another fridge for meat and. Well, we'll need a fridge for meat, a fridge for... Ooh, a gift. Just randomly giving me some medicine. That was nice. Thank you. But you can always count on the kindness of strangers. Or, you know, at least one would like to think you could always count on the kindness of strangers, but that's not always true. Also, I should probably tell people to clean. I only want people to clean in Area 1, which I will rename to be Indoors. I don't really care about cleaning outside. Outside is the outdoors problem. The rain will wash it away. If I recall, was it update 1.1 that added that? Supposedly making the rain washes away all filth mod less uh, necessary. No, personally, I feel that didn't end up being the case. Anyway, let's uh, finish. Okay, you're going to deconstruct that. And then let's work on the solar generator. And we do have enough steel. Good. Alright, let's get on top of that as quickly as possible. There we go, getting some nice tasty meats. Yeah. In fact, you know what? Might as well just queue up uh, some single fridges now. Actually, no. We'll make them double fridges. Because we might, you know, in the future have a lot of meat. There we go. All right, yeah, actually, you know, that's probably, probably kind of important. All right, so we'll get Mayo to keep working on that, and I don't know, if Tom, you're too low. We don't really have a lot of good construction people in this colony, unfortunately. You're passionate about it, but you're really not good at it. All right, maybe instead I'll have your too low, even my Mayo, our best constructor. And you botched it. You botched the construction, Mayo. How could you do this to me? There uh, a reason why this doesn't seem to be. Okay, uh, our faction will be called will be called Lost Company. And you know what? Reaper Village just sounds pretty, pretty badass, so that's what we're going to call ourselves. Crap. So I, I destroyed the power connection between our buildings for no reason. Well done, Gaslight. Well done. Slow clap for you. Alright. Actually, let's, uh... Let's do that. Alright, at some point, Mayo's doing it! You're doing it, Mayo! Which means this is actually completely unnecessary and- oh god. You know, this probably would have been the smarter thing to do from the beginning. Don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. Yes! There we go. Alright, now I can get rid of all these regular above-ground power conduits. Or at least, most of them. There we go. Good. Okay, so everyone is kind of... It's all just sort of holding in there. Kind of. We do still lack power, though. Oh, you're, you're all stupidly connecting to the wrong things. I'm actually just going to lock this room. Just to, There we go. 
just to make sure that all gets done. Alright, so here's the plan. This is going to be only for raw vegetables, and you are only going to be for raw meat. There we go. Then all the meats will fit together quite nicely, or at least so I hope. Oh good, and we're actually getting on top of things pretty quickly, like... Alright, that you see? that That's the sort of stuff I can get behind. And I'll even go ahead and just say, hey, harvest all the agave and berries on the map. Just to keep people busy. And let's see here. So with all that in place... Okay, these beds belong to people, those beds belong to people. No. If I move Mayo and Priest into here... And I can actually go ahead and just get rid of these... Not this bed, though. It's in excellent quality, so... Don't get rid of a, a good quality bed. Yeah, I'll just maybe stick you over there. We'll get rid of these. We'll turn this into... Into the, uh, science -y lab place. Because we probably want to get on top of science as soon as possible. There we go. Alright. Now we can just kind of fast forward and let things, uh, you know, go at their, or follow their natural course. Oh, I need a water tower. That's why these aren't working right. Been a couple of playthroughs now since I last, uh, used Dub's Bad Hygiene. Such a nice mod. Though, if I recall correctly, uh, the folks behind Vanilla Expanded are going to be sometime this year doing their own take on the whole uh, hygiene and toiletries type thing. So that'll be interesting to see how that one turns out. As presumably the two mods would not be compatible with each other, but uh, it's always interesting when you have two mods doing the same thing. You get to pick which one does the thing you like uh, better. Or at least, you know, more the way you want. Alright, so yeah, that this should build up a reasonable amount of charge. I'd like to think that is going to be the case. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the light bulb in here too, because I don't need it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now don't get, don't cancel, or yeah, don't cancel those yet. We still need to, there's so much we need to do. So very much. And of course, as usually the case, we have all this stuff going on, but not exactly. Uh, we have so much stuff that sometimes takes a while before anything actually gets done. Pretty happy about this. We got a nice little bathroom for everyone. All right, good. So everyone can be... Oh good, you guys are taking care of this stuff, we've got our lab in place so we can start researching. What do we want to research? That's cool. Uh, prosthetics. We just get bionics. Just skip right to bionics. Uh, but no. What are these? Ah yes, the roads. Not sure if we're gonna get time to do that. Got a couple of these. Enclave Technologies. Interesting. But we need a presidential mainframe, huh? Or... Rubberhood mainframe. Alright. Interesting. And of course we started off with that. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe get some trench warfare going. Yeah, we'll make that our our first uh, first stop, and then we'll then we'll go for the concealed defenses and whatnot. Farming techniques, perhaps. Might want to make clothes. Oh, beekeeping, because then we have a uh, a free source of uh, meat alternatives, which is always handy. 
in the factory. Someday, I mean, the kind of... The Scrapper playthrough didn't really end up being a proper uh, factory-type uh, playthrough, did it? So, I don't know. That's, uh... That's something we'll have to do. I have a... I mean, after I was kind of uh, discussing what we were going to do in the next series, which ended up being this series, I've got a, a whole list of suggestions that I've been given that I should probably make sure I have kept filed and organized properly so I don't miss anything. You know, lots of ideas, but I don't know. This this is kind of what called to me this time. So we'll, we'll kind of see how things end up playing out uh, here as we also... Ruined by temperature? Oh no. Oh, it's too hot. So if I want it, uh, all right, final. Now by ruined, does it? Do they really mean like ruined forever, or is it, is it still salvageable? I don't know. What I do know is it's probably time to wrap this episode up. So as always, with anything new on the series, I will say thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Because it's, you know, always extra double, super special, important, and the YouTube algorithm likes it. So, yeah, do it. And I'll see all you in the next video.